Hey guys, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on our third at home project. And um, so the first one was where you are supposed to illustrate a song that is important to you. The second one, if it's weather permitted, is that you go outside and you do a outdoor piece of artwork that is inspired by the artist Andy Goldsworthy. Now this third one is going to be a landscape painting. Now there's all kinds of different landscapes painting and by, de by definition a landscape painting is a painting of something outside. It doesn't have to have people in it, it doesn't have to have animals, it's just a painting or a drawing or something that shows outdoors. It can be realistic, it can be cartoony, it can be whimsical, abstract. There's so many different ways to do it. But I remember um, about five years ago, I had this idea for a landscape and I, and I made it, but it's taken me years and years to get it exactly how I wanted it. Now the idea that I, that I wanted to do with the landscape was to take layers of land. Like if you had a, um, an area like this and say this is where you're doing your landscape, and I've taught you all about the horizon line. A horizon line is a line somewhere in the middle of your drawing that represents where the sky touches the ground. Okay, that's called the horizon line. And for little kids, I call it the boss line because it's the boss and it tells everything where to go. It says, hey, you go down here, little puppy dog, and you, um, bird, go up here. Okay, cloud, you go here. No clouds down here. It just kind of bosses everything around. It tells everything where to go. Well, so the idea I had was to take lines that would go from one side of the paper to the other. If they were pointy, that could be a mountain. If they were scalloped, that would be a wave. Um, if it was bumpy, that could be the top of a cloud. Every sort of a line would represent a different kind of something in nature. So I developed that into a lesson, but since then I've grown it a lot. So as I, as I go out into nature or travel or whatever, I get images in my head of what I see around me. And it was two years ago we went to Kentucky. And when we went to Kentucky, something I noticed about the landscape was there would be a lot of just hills that were stacked on top of each other over and over and over again. And I also noticed in Kentucky that there was a lot of this yellowy plant, like a wheat or something, that was growing at the top of the hills and it made it look like it was glowing at the top. And I liked how the clouds in Kentucky, we were there at um, the, I think it was Christmas time, so, it was very dark there and gloomy more like. So the way I saw the sky was in these layers of dark to light with maybe the sun peeking through. So I took all that stuff that I saw in Kentucky and I decided to make a Kentucky line landscape painting. So I'm gonna put it a little bit closer and I also have it on the internet. You can see the lines in it and how they repeat each other, but they change color, okay? And I also did another one that's way bigger, but it's not of any sort of particular place. It's just something from my imagination. It's very big. Um, but with this one, I was a little bit more abstract with my colors. I didn't make everything the color that it had to be. I actually had a little bit more fun with this one because there wasn't as many rules. I just drew lines. Like I said, like bumpy lines for water, zigzaggy lines for mountains. And I tried to make them start and finish from one side to the other. And I think on this one I did that really well because that was my plan and my goal and my challenge. So what I want you guys to do, and I know that you might not have access to paint or anything like that. This doesn't have to be done with paint. If you want to paint and you have paint, I saw these at the dollar store um, downtown and they are just a dollar. So you could paint something little or you could just get paper 
and just draw lines on paper and use markers or crayons to fill it in. I think I'm gonna to try to do two different versions, just a drawing one with markers, and I really wanna do another painting. I'm gonna do a small painting on this, and my plan is, if my um, technology works out good for me this week, to do a high-speed painting or drawing where you're watching me do this in fast motion and you can see how I get it done. So my plan is to do that and to post it underneath this on the blog. So do it if you can, and if you do it, I really wanna see what y'all are doing. So you can email me at morgant at mineolaisd.net, or you can um, tag me on Instagram. And again, I don't remember what that is, but I think it's, tabby annie on instagram i'm not sure i'm gonna have to check but email it to me or put it on google send it to me on google classroom or whatever you can do for this ted harrison landscape um you can google him look him up that's what i have right here i told you in my studio when i'm working on my art i try to put images in front of me that are, are inspirational and all of these on the screen here are pictures that are done by Ted Harrison just in case you can't um, get to this yourself he uses a lot of color and again lines that just go back and forth and he doesn't have a whole lot of rules with color I mean landscapes are supposed to just be outside but he does put in people that's classified as a genre scene. A genre scene is something that shows people working or doing something, an everyday activity inside or outside. So that's a genre scene in a landscape. But um, I hope you all have fun. Share with me what you got and I'll post what I'm gonna make. And I'm really excited because these are just fun. I love doing landscapes. So. This would be our third project. If you can get to it, good. If not, don't worry about it, okay? And I'll see you guys later. Bye.